A Chapter 11 bankruptcy allows a bankrupt business to reorganize. Filing creates a bankruptcy estate that includes all the debtor's assets and rights. That estate is administered by either a trustee or the debtor itself. In Mission Holding Products Incorporated v. Tempnology Limited Liability Company, we explore the trustee or debtor's options concerning executory contracts. Tempnology manufactured exercise clothing under the name CoolCore, having trademarks for its labels and logos. It entered a licensing agreement allowing Mission Products Holdings to use the CoolCore trademarks. Approximately 10 months before the agreement expired, Tempnology filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Tempnology then acquired the bankruptcy court's permission to reject the licensing agreement. But a dispute arose as to the consequences of rejection. Mission argued that the rejection had the same consequences as a breach of contract outside of bankruptcy. Consequently, Mission asserted a claim for damages, but believed it could continue using the Cool Core trademarks. Tempnology argued that the rejection constituted a rescission and therefore terminated the whole contract. Consequently, Mission could sue for damages but couldn't continue using the trademarks. The bankruptcy court held in Tempnology's favor. The bankruptcy appellate panel reversed, but the First Circuit also reversed, reinstating the bankruptcy court's holding. The United States Supreme Court granted cert to resolve a circuit split.